So two young mothers are made to feel unimportant. We feel worthless. The biggest problem in Lesotho is the continuous cycle of HIV. Young mothers are particularly vulnerable. Our program breaks the cycle that, that is perpetuated by stigmas, lack of access to healthcare, and lack of knowledge on maternal health. Breaking the cycle is more than transferring knowledge. It's about empowering young mothers to care for themselves and their children and providing them support to face challenges. Because of AIDS, I didn't have a mother to teach me to be a mother. There are two major stigmas that young mothers face. The first stigma is being young and unwed. I was afraid to leave my home because I was afraid I would face judgment. Without the security of marriage, you face discrimination. Second challenge we face is the shame of being HIV positive. Our program breaks the stigma at multiple levels. We empower our young mothers through building self-esteem and confidence. Each week, young mothers meet in support groups. The support groups create a sense of belonging which breaks the power the stigmas hold over their lives. We recognize that changing the individual is not enough. We need to engage the wider community in the process. We do community awareness events emphasizing the need for prevention of mother-to-child transmission. We also help young mothers bring their partners to educational workshops because if we do not include them, the positive changes we see in our young mothers won't be sustainable. That's the first generation of eight orphans. Many of our young mothers do not have mothers to guide them through the process of having a baby. Helpful Sutu's work is designed to educate and improve access to antenatal care. In Lesotho, every pregnant woman that goes to the clinic has to be tested for HIV. This has discouraged some young mothers because of the fear of knowing their status. Breaking the hold, the stigma of HIV has on young mothers reduces their fear and gives them the courage to seek antenatal care. It is important to teach young mothers about prevention of mother-to-child transmission because of the myth that women who are HIV positive cannot have an HIV negative baby. We know that if young mothers don't have hope of having a healthy baby, they have little reason to go to the clinic. Helpful so taught me that if I go to the clinic, I can have a healthy baby, even though I am HIV positive. As the second generation living with HIV and AIDS, many young mothers were born HIV positive. We know that if they are not taught about prevention of mother-to-child transmission, this cycle will only continue. The monthly Young Mother Days are integral to our program. We educate the women on HIV risky behavior, self-esteem, and sexual reproductive health. The most vital message we give them is the importance of treatment adherence. Now, the question of ARVs. There are three things that are very, very important when you take your ARVs. One, you must take them at the same time every day. Never miss the time. Two, you must make sure that when you take them, you're eating something. So it's important to plant something on your garden. Three, when you're taking ARVs, never ever mix them with other medications, it being traditional or otherwise. In manly trainings, I learned how to take care of myself when I am on ARVs. I learned to stay HIV negative. I should only help one partner. I have learned that I should get myself and my child tested regularly. Our programs empower young mothers and gives them hope for the future. I will tell other young mothers that they do not need to be ashamed. I will take ARVs to protect my child. Because of this program, I'll be here to teach her to be a mother. We will try to break the cycle of mother to child transmission.